Hello freaks in this tutorial let's learn how to automate our code using the event blocks in scratch in previous tutorials we have been running our code manually by clicking on the blocks individually but we cannot keep doing that as it is very tiring and will make it impossible for us to make our games for solving this issue we trigger or start running our code when a certain event takes place this event can be anything like a mouse click or a key press or clicking this green flag let us look at different events and how we can control our code programmatically at first we will be using the when flag click block and as the name suggest clicking the green flag is the event and anything attached with this block will be executed cool let us write a small code which makes our sprite move when green flag is clicked we can use any motion block I will be using the move block. Let's attach this with the event block and hit the green flag. And as expected, the sprite moves 10 steps when the flag is clicked. And we can click the flag multiple times too. We can use our keyboard buttons as events too. Using the when space is clicked, we can select any key we want from this drop down. Let us make the cat move to the right when the right arrow key is pressed. To do this, we use the change x by 10 block and attach it to our when block. And now, when I press the right arrow key, my cat moves towards the right. We can use as many event blocks as we want at the same time and hence trigger our code using multiple different events like this. Here I have put triggers on all the four arrow keys and cat moves in the direction of key press. As an exercise, I would like you to write a code such that the cat moves in all four directions using w a s and d buttons what if you want some code to run when you click your character for this we use when the sprite is clicked block let's make our cat wish when it is touched for this we attach a say block and make it display hi you touched me when clicked and done now let's click on our cat and there we can see the message when we click on the cat this was fun but the best of all blocks remain suppose you want to create an app which calls the police when somebody screams yes we have a block for that too which is triggered when sound is greater than some value which you set this is when loudness is greater than 10 block this tells us that When I make a sound greater than 10, sprite will do the task that we want. I will increase this value because it can catch my typing sound too. So, I will edit it as 70. Let's check this out. I will make the cat say something when triggered. Are you ready to make some noise? Hello. Hi. Oh no, the cat called the police. That was fun, right? We learned a lot of cool things from making our cat walk using our keyboard to detecting loudness in the sound. Keep practicing and making cool things with what you have learned. That's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one where we learn how to interact with our sprite. Till then, Enjoy scratch programming and happy learning freaks